YouTube, 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 hello, how's it going? Episode number 11 of the FIFA 23 career mode with 1860 Munich. Um, last time around, could have done better. It was it was kind of up and down. Form was not that great. So hopefully we step it up for this episode. Um, honestly, nothing else to say. So let's just get into the games proper. Let's do it. So today's episode, we have got Denmark in a friendly, then Hamburg at home. They are third place in the league. We are seventh, so that is going to be a big boy game. We'll get extended highlights for that one. Then Sondhausen away. Uh, Mönchengladbach in the cup. We'll do extended highlights for that one as well. Mojberg. And then Holstein finishes us off for the episode. So yeah, let's get stuck in and properly play some games. Welcome to Cardiff City Stadium for a friendly between Wales and Denmark. The last time these two teams faced off, Wales won in Euros qualifiers. Let's see if they can keep up their form against Denmark. Roberts, counter now for Wales. Moore, ahead. Tyler Roberts, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Roberts makes it one to nil for Wales in the 70th minute. Not much has happened in this game, but finally Wales is on the board. Boss, Vin with a shot, it goes up and over. And that is going to be the end of the game. Wales holds on, holds on, pardon me, one to nil. All right, so we're taking on Hamburg in the next game. Hiller in goal with DaCosta, Verlot, Morgala, Fati as a back four. Cafu is our holding mid. Galarza is our one center mid. Vernezzi is the other one. Boyan Chibi on the wings. Lockenmacher up top. Let's get into this very important game. We're sitting seventh. They are sitting third, only three points ahead of us on this rainy, rainy afternoon at the Grunwalder. Match day number 10. Let's do it. Boyan just going to play it towards the top of the box. Kafu. Chibi with a chance here. Chibi driving. Chibi blocked by the keeper. Headed away. Not that far, though. And it is a rebound for Garlaza. He makes it 1-0 for 1860 Munich. Garlaza. Chibi down the wing. Chibi now. He is driving in. Chibi with a chance to maybe make it two. Chibi does. Look at that. Two to nil, not even 11 minutes into the game. And Stavanovic is going to have to come on as Garlaza is injured very early into the game. Not even 20 minutes. Harsh hackle, not even a foul called. 1860 Munich. Justifiably upset about it, but they have to play on. Rice. Rice with a nice little move. Hiller, what a stop on Contero. Laid on in the first half. Chance for Hamburg on the corner. They go short with it. Dompe to the top of the box for Rice. Passes through to Bennis. Bennis across, and that is a fantastic strike from Jota. Two to one. Kafu. Great ball ahead there by Kafu. Chibi takes it down. Greilinger, the substitute. Back for Chibi. Chibi in. Chibi just couldn't head it over the keeper. And it stays two to one. Bernese. Winkler ahead. Fati is onside. Fati into the box. Lockenmacher makes it two goals on the day. Does he make it two on the day? Whatever. He makes it a two goal lead. Three to one for 1860 Munich. As he headbutts the flag. Cafu with the interception. Bernese. Ahead. Lockenmacher. This time he makes it two goals. Three goal lead. For 1860 Munich, and that definitely means it is over. And that is going to be the end of the game. 4-1 for 1860 Munich. They come back in a big way and get a big win against Hamburg. Well, there you see our boy Kiss going off uh, on a loan to enter Miami for two years. I figure, listen, like I said last episode, hopefully something comes out of him. If not... No worries. Not the end of the world. Welcome to the BTW Stadion. Match day number 11 between Sandhausen and 1860 Munich. Let's get into the game. Ritzmeier. Into plenty of space for Kinsombi. Kinsombi with a chance here. Kinsombi 
through that gets to pull grab. Haler got a piece of it, but not enough, and it's one to nil. Vernezzi does so well there. Vernezzi stolen by Garlaza. Garlaza now. Across for Vernezzi. No mistake. One to one. Great pressure from the veteran attacking midfielder. And he is rewarded with a goal. Head for Lockenmacher. Lockenmacher to Greilinger. Greilinger. Chibi through for Lockenmacher. Lockenmacher. Nicely done there. What a team goal. Lockenmacher makes it two to one. Ritzmeyer. Nicely done there by the substitute. Olsen. That's a bad play there by Greilinger. He knows it. Pull crap. Ahead. Chance. Two to two. Can Zombie ties it up? That is going to be the end of the game. It is over two to two between Sandhausen and 1860 Munich. All right. Cup game against Munchen Gladbach. It is Hiller in goal with the cost of Verlot, Morgala, Fati as a back four. Castro coming in for a rare start at the center holding mid position. Arlaza, Vernezzi as the attacking mids. Chaibi, Stavanovic on the wings. Lockenmacher is the lone striker. This is going to be very tough. I don't expect to win, so let's get into it. Lockenmacher through. Vernezzi. Stavanovic, he has been Lockenmacher. Lockenmacher, he makes it one to nil. Is he onside? He is. And the underdog, 1860 Munich, up one to nil on Munch and Gladback. Marusic now on the counter for Munch and Gladback. Daka does it really well to get around Morgala. Daka with a chance. Through, shot into the hands of Hiller. But Daka was, Daka was taken down in the box. Jesper Verlot, the captain for 1860 Munich, has cost them a penalty. And Munch and Gladback could get back into the game. Oh no, it's stopped by Hiller. What a save. It is still 1-0. That is the magic of the DFP Pokal. Hiller has just made himself a cult hero with a huge save against Munch and Gladbach. And Lockenmacher now. Lockenmacher over the top for Stefanovic. Stefanovic. He's in. Stefanovic chips the keeper. No, Somer is there to make this save. Stefanovic nearly made himself a hero. Awkward collision there. Vernezzi lost out. Fraulo. Chance here. Newhouse up and over the net. It stays one to nil. Fraulo. Through. What a ball by Fraulo. Hiller. Another huge save for Munch and Gladback. Newhouse takes it short to Bragancha. Towards the top of the box to Naglia. Kramer has space. Musa also with a shot. Musa stopped by Hiller. Hiller is on fire. Newhouse. Marusic. Ragancha shot and it is finally one to one. Daka breaks the seal. Hiller has played so well, but that goal was coming and Munja Gladback back in it. Chaibi now. Chaibi through for Garlaza. Garlaza. Finn Lockenmacher. Oh, he just missed the net. So close. Castro now dragged out of position. Counter attack here for Munja Gladback. Daka. The goal scorer to Marusic. Marusic against Morgala. Marusic through. Newhouse. Good pass. Is that onside? It isn't. No. It stays one to one. How close was that? Very. I don't know about that one. He's got Lockenmacher. Lockenmacher holds on to that really well. He's looking down the wing. Olsen. Into the box. Chibi's there to try and get it. He can't. What a chance for Chibi. He just missed the ball. Intercepted really well there by DaCosta, but it doesn't go all that far. Cash against DaCosta. Cash. Musa. Verlot has to be careful. Daka. Shot that hits the side of the net, and it stays one to one in stoppage time. DaCosta to Chibi. Dalig. Up and over the top. Verlot in stoppage time. Pardon me, Lockenmacher in stoppage time. Why did I say Verlot? I don't know. But Somer makes the save. Cash against DaCosta. DaCosta couldn't get to it. Musa around Verlot. Verlot has to be careful. He is on a yellow card. Friedrich. Friedrich, pardon me. Kramer shot. Oh, wow. Hiller with a good save. 
corner for Mönchengladbach. Musa into the box. Header for a lot. Should have had that. Itakura makes it two to one for Mönchengladbach. Heartbreaker. Only a minute or two left here. DaCosta with an important steal. DaCosta stolen right back by Kramer. We have a minute of stoppage time. Itakura around his man. Itakura is going to hold on. And so is Mönchengladbach. You hate to see it. But 1860 Munich ought to be proud. They took Mönchengladbach to the brink. And unfortunately, they fall 2-1 to one in extra time. Welcome to the Grunwalder. It is 1860 Munich hosting Majburg in match day number 12. Let's get into the game. Vernezzi now. Vernezzi. What a ball through by Vernezzi. Van Lockenmacher stops. Rebound, though. He is all over it. And it is 1-0 for 1860 Munich. And that is going to be the end of the game. 1860 Munich hold on in a rather uneventful game. But three points is three points, and they will take it. Welcome to Holstein Stadion. It is Holstein hosting 1860 Munich. Match day number 13. Let's get into this game. Corner. Headed away for a lot. Shot! Oh, what a strike by Vranezzi. And from the corner, 1860 Munich take the lead. Looking for Chibi, couldn't get it to him. Stolen by Vernezzi. Vernezzi across 2-0 very early on for 1860 Munich. Stolen by Galarza. Vernezzi through for Lockenmacher. Lockenmacher across, and that is 3-0. Barely even a half hour in. Chibi is a one to score. Up and over the top. Lockenmacher, he has Devonovich. Back for Lockenmacher. Lockenmacher, 4 to nil. As we begin the second half, Bartles holding off for a lot into the box. Great ball. Wow, what a strike. And I mean, that goal is but nothing, if nothing but pride for that goal. I can't even speak. You know what I mean. It's 4 to 1. And that is going to be the end of the game. It is. Okay, I didn't know for sure. Four to one, huge win for 1860 Munich. All right, before we end it, uh, let's look at our youth prospects. We got some youth academy players in, and then we had a little bit to develop them and probably look at the potential. So this is what the youth academy looks like now. Uh, Kovacevic still here, 79 to 94 potential. You'd love to see it. Gordon Novak still here as well, 72 to 90. Uh, Miki Jovanovic, 16-year-old CDM slash center back. He's still here, 5'9", so we're still retraining him as a center mid. Uh, Kas Mathieu is a new one, 80 to 94 potential. We are uh, training him as a playmaker. He is a CM slash CDM, Belgian. He looks pretty solid. Zakaria Michel. Still here as well, the center attacking mid slash center forward. Um, Branko Novak is a new dude as well, 72 to 92 potential. Training him as a deep line forward, 53 overall at 15, not too bad. Uh, Nezovic is still here as well. And then Pierre Michel, I can't remember if he's new or not, but 69, nice to 89 potential. 48 overall at 17. Him being 17 years old and 48 even with that potential, we I might call him up and basically just try and sell him. There's a couple of players I might call up and try to sell. Or just call up for the team. So yeah, we'll see. But that is the Youth Academy now after we got an intake and then had a good idea of what people's potentials were and uh, dropped some players. So yeah. All right, so we are now sitting third place. You'd love to see it. Uh, ahead of Werder Bremen on goal difference by two. A point behind Firth and two points behind Dusseldorf. So 13 games played, seven wins, three draws, three losses. Not too bad at all. Pretty solid, especially this episode. We really turned it around. 
And then next episode, this is what it's going to look like. We have got Ukraine and China for friendlies. Um, Hanover, 96 in the league. Kaiser Lautern after that. So that will take us to four games. Uh, Valdhoff in the league and then Werder Bremen to finish us off. So looking at the standings super quickly. Again, because I forget the standings. Uh, Werder Bremen will definitely do extended highlights for and then maybe either Valdhoff or Hanover 96. So there you go. End of the episode. Like I said, we turned it around pretty well. I cannot complain about it. Third place in the table. You love to see it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I am exhausted because I am recording this quite late. Um, do all the algorithmy stuff, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Um, yeah, and then we'll be back with episode 12 sooner rather than later. Um, I can't think of anything else. So have a wonderful rest of the day and um, smooches. All right. Mwah.